I always really enjoyed the more medieval slashing games, or in this case the sword slashing games from Mordau to Chivalry to Dark Souls to even Blade and Sorcery. They're all my favorite games and the games that I resonate the most with. But what does that leave Roblox with? I'm here to answer that question. Although it doesn't obviously seem like it, Roblox is house to a lot of impressive and fun slashing games. Just to be clear, I'm talking about slashing games. The games that I will talk about have to include swords and any sort of swing manipulation. And no, I will not be talking about the strongest battlegrounds as I don't want to fall asleep while doing this video. I'll be talking about every weak and strong point about every game I cover. Because not everything is perfect, and although I do think that perfection would make games boring as I fucking love to break animations, some people prefer normal looking sword fights. So let's start. Uh, I want to take off the worst in the start, so I'm going to start with the Hood Warriors. This game is a huge frustration, at least for me. Because the animations and the combat are very interesting, yet the devs do... Literally nothing with that. It's an old game based off an even older game called Mortem Metallum, which I didn't even have a PC at that time, so I never tried it. Sure, the game is there, but with a lot of balance issues and a lot, and I mean a lot, of toxicity. Probably the most toxic one today. Enough yapping though, let's get to the positives and negatives. As you might imagine from my really cool sigh at the start and the choice of a non-impressed music from a library of overused music from YouTubers, there is not a lot of positives I can talk about here. Combat Warriors is old, for Roblox standards of course, being created in 2019. The game was a lot of fun back then, when we had literally nothing better, but with the addition of so much more impressive and more well-made games, this one just falls into a void, the deepest void of shame, and the devs are very aware of that, being last updated with actual content years ago. The game is simple, you have a parry, and a dodge, and that's it, have fun. It's easy to play, but really hard to master. If you like simplistic slashing games, then give this one a try. But if you like more complicated games like Mordau or Chivalry, I have better choices down this video, so simply just ignore this one. This game also has really cool cosmetics, and they made the Dragon Slayer a very respected weapon in the Roblox sword community. Uh, but that's really about it for positives. For the negatives, the game has so many weapons and so many death animations and so many slashing animations, yet competitively you either use the Dragon Slayer, the Ranged or the Chainsaw or you are good as dead. The bull being the most overpowered one and I'll explain why in a short professional sketch I may. Uh, this is the reason why bow is better than sword, so if a bow and a sword are trying to connect with each other, this person being the sword and this person being the bow. Uh, and they run at exactly the same speed, right? Same speed. This means that the sword person will never catch the bow person and the bow person can retaliate while the sword person can't do shit. The game is filled to the brim with toxic people. You cannot join a game without finding someone saying something completely deranged or just trying to act cool in front of their e-kittens. That being said, this game is more of a social and dating game more than a sword fighting game, because if you kill someone that was socializing, they will target you until you leave the server. The game also has horrible optimization, having frame drops with my friend that has a 4070. The game is also very filled with cheaters, and almost all of them are cross the cheaters, so it just makes the whole experience just great. From horrible optimization, to terrible people, to terrible hitboxes, to terrible everything. Is it apparent that I don't like this game? Moving from this piece of garbage, let's move to a game that is good and very down to hurt.
Bulwark is probably Roblox's most well-balanced game, although of course it has its issues. The game is beautiful, with a whole world you can explore and interact with, and with people that you can interact too. I have hundreds of hours just looking at places around the small island, and the game awards you with titles and skins for doing so. No stupid game passes or anything like that, just a solid game with a solid structure. The combat of this game is a little more complicated though. You have a strike, a parry, a guard, the kick, a guard break, repost, excel, and drag. Making this game a more swing manipulation type of game. Although some people might not like the drags and excels in sword fighting games, I tend to love them, as it incorporates what sword fighting in real life is all about, which is about that misdirection. I totally know what I'm talking about because I do emo for two years. So As you can tell, this is one of my favorite games in Roblox, and one that I hold very dearly. The combat is fantastic, dealing to awesome encounters and genuine sword fights. Unlike some sword fighting games that ends with a person sliding like a maniac across the floor and striking you with a 10,000 pound sword. The people you meet in Bulwark tend to be funny, caring, and really nice, unless you join the Discord, which is in my opinion a huge mistake. Even if you don't like sword fighting, just the exploration and the characters alone is worth it. Just try the game and wander around for a little bit, and you'll be entertained for an hour or two. There is a vast selection of weapons, and all of them have their unique benefits and weaknesses. If you like a down-to-hurt without bullshit sword fighting game, this is definitely the route to go. For the negatives, this is a very unforgiving game for beginners, and people that want to learn fast. Until level around 600, you will struggle a little bit if you're not familiar with this more draggy, excel-y type of game. For example, the Executioner's X has an incredible amount of drag potential, leaving newcomers to wonder what they can do against that weapon, and leaving completely frustrated from the game thinking they died due to lag. Since the game has only a number of arenas that players have to wait to queue and duel, the time between fights can be excruciating and boredom inducing. Nonetheless, in my opinion, the positives outskill the negatives, but for each their own. What if I like the combat of Combat Warriors, but I want an actual good game? As I said, this game is combat warriors, but every weapon is viable and bow and arrow suck. It's a chaos of swords clashing and people dying left and right, and I couldn't love it more. It's a type of fighting that I'm not a big fan of, as I said, but I prefer dragging and excelling, but the sheer dopamine of running some of swings in this game makes it for every flaw in this type of sword fighting game. This game is not really a learning one, as it's very simple to understand and most often than not you'll be in a mosh pit, so literally just turn off your brain, turn up some music, fucking play. A game like this wouldn't have any flaws, right? Right? Oh god. The swings on the morning star are completely broken, as it starts with a, like 16 frames from a normal attack, but a running attack is basically just six, like 7 frames. So spamming the starting attack is basically an unreadable move. Although with a cooldown, Yuru suffers the exact same problem. It's a little, bit, a little bit more readable, but you can still kind of do it. But those are just game issues, right? They, it's a pre-alpha, they'll fix that. It's nothing internal, right? Surely the developer of this game hasn't done anything uh, malicious, right? Although it's said that things like that have to happen or even just exist, the game is still worth giving it a try. It's basically a Dark Souls type of fighting game with some parrying timing techniques involved too. It's a very entertaining game and very funny to play with friends. I will not talk negatives or positives as it's still in pre-alpha, allegedly. And that covers it. I'm aware that there's more I could have covered like Call of Chivalry or even Criminality, but that's just simply enough. I hope you liked it. this more different video from my like regular other ones with minimal editing this time, but I really wanted to cover these games. I hope I can see you in my Twitch soon, or just in my next video. Buh bye bye